Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial uh, where I'm going to show you how you can create realistic landscapes uh, inside World Machine for use in Unreal Engine 5. So without further ado, let's just jump right in um, and we're going to delete all this stuff because we don't need it. We're going to start uh, from scratch. So we're just going to click on these things and yeah, delete it all. So um, the way world machine works is uh, it basically uses noise to generate uh, the landscapes and now uh, it lets you transform that noise until you get a landscape that you really like and uh, you can uh, put all sorts of modifiers on it um, but we're gonna just start by uh, taking uh, this advanced perlin and we're gonna just put it in here and uh, we see a little preview right there so we can click on here and uh, we see all sorts of settings that we can uh, customize uh, we can choose between some presets uh, I think for this one uh, let's just uh, let's do this I think this is this is pretty good um, so we can uh, modify some of these settings here so the persistence is gonna Basically, like the lower it is, um, the smoother your terrain will be. And if you put it all the way to the top, you're gonna have these very jagged ridges, um, and you will have uh, very hard edges. Um, I think for this one, we're gonna do it like around this uh, is a good thing. Um, we can also uh, change the steepness, so it's basically when you look at it uh, as a black and white height map, uh, this would be the contrast, so yeah, if we put that all the way to the top, you see these mountains getting real tall and the valley is getting real um, shallow, yeah, I think I think you see what it does, um, don't have to explain too much here, I'm just gonna put it like around here, I think this is a good value, the middle elevation is really like, it doesn't change anything about the landscape, just well, it changes the middle elevation, as the name says. Um, so we're just gonna keep that around here. All right, so we've got our first input, and uh, so we got a few different ways um, that we that we can look at it and see if we like it. We have the layout view. Um, this is ma mainly for like custom features that you build in. Um, I'm not gonna go into custom terrain features in this video, but um, I'll be glad to do it in a future video because it's very interesting and it's very versatile also. So what we can also do is we can go into the Explorer view. Um, and what this does is basically give you an approximation of what an infinite world uh, using this noise would look like. And as you can see, we've got like literally an infinite world like this this looks like Minecraft and uh, we're gonna go into the last view which is the 3d view and uh, here you have your landscape um, yeah the one the part that you want to actually use and you can look at it better here but we're not done yet we've still got a lot more to do um, so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna add some erosion so you're gonna find this at the nature tab we have something called, um, <coughs> where is it, uh, erosion, yeah, just normal erosion. And you can drag this here and uh, just put in the height map. And now you want you, when you go on to erosion, if you compare like just these previews, you can see like there's a little difference. It's not too much, but um, if we make this a little bigger and we open this, we have another set of settings that we can that we can change um, we can change the duration and uh, what's but what's even more uh, important is uh, the rock hardness and the sediment carry amount because these are like the things that actually um, change your erosion so you can play around with these uh, sliders uh, as much as you like but as soon as you got like rock hardness to one like you basically have no erosion whatever you whatever you do like nothing changes so don't put that at one uh, you could just leave it out um, yeah we're gonna put that around here and maybe the carry amount we'll go like this this seems this seems nice um, we're gonna close this and we're gonna take another look in the 3d view no that was the wrong one this 
and already you can see that this looks amazing like just look at this you could never uh paint that in any like landscape painting uh program you can't paint that in unreal engine unless you're like really talented but i i assume most people can't uh, create this much natural realistic detail like look at this uh, every time i use this program i'm i'm stunned yeah so we've got a uh, very very nice landscape here and now what we want to do go to output and um, we're gonna do height output and put it here now you can connect this and uh, with the height output uh, you can just um, click on it and it will uh, also open some settings and uh, you'll have to choose 16-bit raw so this is the best uh, format to choose if you want to port it into Unreal Engine okay so now that you got all uh, this configured you got your uh, output um, folder and uh, you got your file format right um, you're just gonna have to click on write to disk and you will see file written successfully and you're basically done that's all you need to do in world machine okay so now we're in unreal engine and uh, what we now have to do to get our landscape into unreal engine is simply go on to select mode select landscape so you're gonna have the uh, landscape window opening up and you're not gonna select create new, but you're gonna select import from file. So I have already uh, selected it. And um, right here, uh, it asks you for a height map. Um, and uh, now we just have to navigate to our height map on our disk, our R16 file. I'm just gonna do that real quick. Um, yeah, select it and click on open. All right, um, so now, we see we've got something going on here, but it's kind of weird because it's like only one strip and um, that comes from this here. We're gonna have to choose 1025 by 1025. And now, look at that. We've got uh, a rough approximation of our height map. Of course, this is not in great detail right now because it's just a preview, but we can already see how big it will be and um, I think yeah we should probably make it a little bit smaller because um, when you load them in they tend to be very big uh, so we're just gonna put it like 80 in all directions um, yeah yeah that's that's a bit better um, and now also what we can do um, is we can uh, already assign a material to the landscape so if you have an auto material um, now's the time to assign that um, it's best to assign it from the start you can assign it later but uh, I recommend using it from the start um, but for the tutorial I'm just gonna use like a basic uh, started texture so yeah, maybe we can find some like sand yeah or yeah, why not ta just take sandstone? <laughs> it's it's just for visualization. It's not gonna look great with the textures and stuff. But uh, yeah, if I try to load in like uh, auto material right here, uh, this would be too much for the tutorial. Uh, it takes too much performance and stuff, you know. Um, but I'm gonna put you in the description. I'm gonna put you a link where you can get a great free auto material that I also use for some of my projects. Um, that's free on the asset store, so I can only recommend that. But as I said, for now, we're just gonna have to stick with the rock sandstone and uh, we're gonna hit uh, import. So now he's importing and he's probably, oh, that was fast. Yeah, yeah. And right there, you can see we've got our landscape and it looks gorgeous. All right. So now if we hit play, that's it. We've got our landscape, we can walk around, look at the mountains, and yeah, it's really very easy process, uh, very easy to follow if you ask me. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you don't want to miss out on any future tutorials, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if this tutorial helped you or maybe even inspired you, uh, feel free to give me a like because it really helps me out. Um, yeah, I hope I see you in the next video and uh, bye bye.